All right, kids, today we're gonna learn how to attach someone else's face onto someone else's body. For this video, I'm going to use my friend Bernie's face, or should I say body, and Shrek's face. Try to figure out which one's which. You'll be pleasantly surprised. We're gonna go from this to this. Open up Bernie's face in the GIMP. Convert. Now we're gonna go ahead and boop, open up Shrek's face in the GIMP. Okay, image, then copy, edit, paste. New layer, all right. Gonna get rid of Shrek here and move this out of the way. Oh wait, 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 we gotta adjust Shrek. His face is crooked, but Bernie's is not. So let's go here to the rotation tool, hit corrective and change it to grid. And what you do is you line up the tops. I'm using the top of the eye here as a reference. And by using the corrective mode, this reverses the dis difference you put on there. And voila, his face is now uh, matching. Layer, scale, layer. Yeah, scale the layer to, say, 600 height. That's closer to Bernie's face. There we go. Go ahead and crop this down. I'm going to do a loose crop here. Boom, 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 boom. So we want to get the face separated, right? Maybe a later tutorial, I'll keep those ears. Select, invert, edit, cut, layer, crop to selection. Select none. Okay. We're very close here. We have not much to go. Layer. Auto crop layer. There we go, that's better. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to lay Bernie's mug, I mean Shrek's mug, over Bernie's face. So I'm gonna go images, not corrective. I don't want this here, that's right. I want perspective, not rotate, that's right. I'm gonna go image and change the transparency down that much. Maybe grab this corner here, Move that out of the way. As you can see, it's a real simple process, this part. Hopefully I won't crash like I did last time. Last time I tried doing this tutorial, it just crashed on me hard here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're on the right track here. We are on the right track. Oh, move the highlights a little higher. Oh, those are almost dead on, aren't they? Let me adjust the chin. Oh yeah, get closer to his face size. Oh yeah, we gotta bring the mouth down, the eyes up a little higher. Oh, there it is. There's a Bernie. Transform. See, look at that. We're on the right track already. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, what we do on this layer is we desaturate this layer. There we go, it's nice and desaturated. And now, we go to the color panel, much like the other tutorial I did. We're gonna play a little game called Color Matching. Now, we want Shrek's face to be as close to Bernie's face in color as possible. Still recording, okay good. As possible. So, we're going to go to levels, again, select the red, and we can see we already need to lighten it up a lot, because Shrek's much darker than Bernie here. Oh, there we go, look at that. Oh yeah, that's better. A little lighter. There we go. That's pretty close. I, I will allow this. Next layer, green, layers, Le uh, levels, select the green layer. That was a lot easier, look at that, it was almost dead on. There we go. Blue layer, very little to do here, layer, levels, 
blue. Actually, bring it a little lighter. Bring the curve up. There we go. All right, now let's bring the color back. Pretty close, huh? I mean, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty. It's pretty good. All right, so let's do some adjustments here. Colors, levels. Select the red. A little more on the red, maybe. Select the green. Maybe a little more. Oh, there it is. There's the piece we're missing. All right. Now for the fun part. Got to cut Shrek's, Shrek's face out. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this one. Now what I did when I did the one is I used the breezer tool. And I go around the wells of the eyes here. Doesn't mean that's where the detail is. Go around the nose and the crease of the mouth. And then I went all the way down over here. I get that little shadow right there. And when I was done, I had a nice end right there. So, but then I will go here. This tool here, by the way, changes the selection to a virtual layer. So you can mess with the selection itself. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the smudge tool. Well, it's the blur tool. Smudge tool. Give myself a big fat end here. Make it bigger. I'm going to start smoothing things out here around the edges. Because you don't want this stuff to be too cut and dry. Because you want to blend. The more, more you blend this part, the more natural things will look. Alright, I like how that looks. Select, invert, and cut. We're very much closer to where we want to be. Alright, let's do a little adjustment here. Well, that's looking really good so far. Now, with that same brush, we can kind of go around the edges here and move some of the uh, more Shreky like details. Give us some of the strange coloration issues. And of course, at, at this point, you can do some touching up, moving around. All right. Today's lesson short, and that's it. Peace.